What's going on guys? We are back for another quick video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben and on my channel I talk about building online income streams through e-commerce, print on demand, and much more. So in this video we're going over my upload process for Merch by Amazon phone cases. This is something I've been going through personally because I've been re-uploading all my products onto phone cases and it's pretty basic but a lot of people ask me for the basics when it comes to Merch by Amazon and print on demand. So as always, tools will be linked down below in the description but let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, so let's get started. As I mentioned, guys, I've done most of my uploads in the past on just all the other products that Merch by Amazon has to offer. So t-shirts, long sleeves, tank tops. And over the last two or three weeks, I've just been going through and uploading all of my designs onto phone cases since that's a newer product on Merch by Amazon. And I've started to make some sales here. So I just wanna make a quick video for you guys to show you how I am doing this. So I have this example t-shirt design, this I just freaking love turtles which is already live on Amazon. Now, a lot of you guys, if you are you know, re-uploading designs that you already have uploaded, this is gonna be really easy because we can literally just copy and paste our title, our bullets, et cetera, and maybe make just a few changes to them. Uh, but you can also use this process if you're uploading a product for the first time, um, which, you know, again, it's a lot of basic stuff, but we're just kind of going back to the basics here. So we want to take this design and get it ready to upload to Merch by Amazon on the phone cases. So we have the iPhone and Samsung phone cases. And when my designer creates all of my t-shirt designs, they're normally formatted for t-shirts. So they're 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. Now we need to obviously take this and adjust this to fit the Merch by Amazon dimensions. So if you guys have questions on this, you can just search something on Google like Merch by Amazon phone cases. Um, but I will also put a link to this down below in the description. This is just Amazon's FAQ on what they're looking for for the upload process. So right away we can see here that we need to do 1800 pixels by 3200 pixels. You guys can see here kind of the formatting of this. So obviously the iPhone and Samsung cases are a little bit different because of the camera size at the top. Uh, and then we just really need to stay away from being too close to the edge because that edge is gonna wrap around on the phone. Uh, so your design could get cut off if you guys are going too close to the edges. But really what we need to do first is get this design ready in the right pixel format for Amazon. Now you guys can use, you know, really whatever software you want to use, Photoshop, InDesign, Canva, but since I'm already paying for a subscription on Merch Informer, I find that it's one of the easiest ways to actually do this. Normally I'm already in here doing my research process. Um, so this is kind of an easy, easy way to just get this done very, very quickly. So what we want to do is logged into Merch Informer, click on the Merch Designer up here in the top right, which is going to open this design widget. And then we're just gonna find phone cases. So merch phone cases and go ahead and select this. Now, my design's already showing on here because I was just kind of uploading this into the system, but essentially you can upload your design here in the images area and then drag and drop it on here. So really simple. And all we need to do is resize this till we think it looks right. So I'm just gonna make it a little smaller because remember we need to leave room on the sides um, so that our design doesn't get cut off. Now this again is very, very simple because Merch Informer has these um, position tools so I'll normally just center horizontally. You guys will notice obviously this is further down. It's not directly centered again because I don't want it to get cut off. Um, and then all we need to do is hit download. That's gonna download this file and then we just need to take this over to Amazon and upload it. So I'm gonna go back to Merch by Amazon and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new product here. And normally what I'll do is I'll upload these, kind of look at how they are and I might make tweaks or changes because sometimes the positioning is not exactly right. Let me just hide these guys. So I already have this on all my other products. I have it on t-shirts, I have it on you know tank tops. So I am just focusing on phone cases for this example. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck everything and just do iPhone and Samsung case. And then we can go ahead and upload this. Let me move my image here a little bit. So I'm gonna upload these, drag and drop, and it takes a second for them to load. Now, one thing while these are loading, I just wanna mention, I'm using the Producter um, extension here which is very simple, it's a free Google Chrome extension. And this makes it really easy to do trademark checks. There's a bunch of other features in here, um, but I mainly use this to check the trademark issues just because again, I'm pretty conservative with my account. I don't wanna do anything that's gonna be you know, deemed um, infringement or anything like that. So that is my first kind of tool that I use for this process. So these have uploaded, we can see that they look pretty good. I'm fine with the design location, but sometimes, you know, I might see a design and say, okay, on the iPhone, it looks like it's too low. So I'm gonna go back and adjust it. So I'll move this up, you know, again, center it horizontally and then just download a new version and drag and drop that uh, back onto this iPhone case or the Samsung. So these ones are fine with me. So. All we really need to do from here is pretty much just fill in our information. Now, remember guys, I already have everything filled in. So I have this stuff right here. 
I can just copy and paste this uh, right in here. And normally that is what I'm doing. So my process is very, very quick because I'll just copy and paste all the information. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm just trying to provide a little bit more value. Let's assume this is a new product and we don't have that information yet. So we need to do a little bit of keyword research. And you guys might have already done keyword research you know, beforehand, maybe during the design phase. But just to show you kind of my process for doing this, um, one of the first places I like to start is on Amazon. So I'm just gonna go back to the homepage here. And I'm using an extension called the AMZ Suggestion Expander. It's a free Google Chrome extension, which again, link to down below. But why I love this is because people that are buying our merch by Amazon products, they're obviously searching on Amazon. And so normally the Amazon suggest, the bar up here suggests products or search ideas uh, that people are searching for related to our products. So if I type in something like turtle gift, let's just see what pops up. So normally without this tool, you would just get maybe these 10 or so um, recommended searches. What this tool does is it'll pull keywords that are going before this search, after this search, or you know somewhere in this search, uh, and also present those, which is super helpful for us because we can see, okay, these are all search terms that people are actually searching for on Amazon. Since our target market is on Amazon, we want to pay attention to this stuff. Um, and so what I'm gonna normally try to pick out here are what keywords I can include for my title. So for example, I see right here, sea turtle, okay? That's definitely something I want to include in this. I see, um, you know, gift for teacher. So that might be something that I want to incorporate in the bullets or something like that. But let's go ahead and I'm just gonna remove this. Let's look at one more example here. So we see again, sea turtle, uh, ninja turtle. I'm obviously not gonna be doing that. But now I'm seeing some other keywords that I want to incorporate, right? Beach, definitely want to incorporate that. You know, what else are people searching for outside of turtle as the keyword? Maybe they're looking for beach maybe ocean. Um, another tip here, and I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, you guys will also find kind of these cross niches that you can do, for example, turtle and giraffe. Now, I don't really know what that is, but maybe I want to say, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I should go look at that. And I might look and see, are people searching for turtle and giraffe? Is there something there that I can actually, you know, create a product around? I see turtle with heart, turtle with hat, um, all of these little things. So in this process, I am just trying to find these other keywords that people are already searching for. Um, shell, that's another one right here. And normally what I'll do is I'll either have like a Word document on the side going, or I'll just start plugging these in in here. So I'm gonna do C turtle uh, shell, or let's actually do gift shell ocean beach. And when we're writing these, you know, they're not always gonna sound um, like they're, you know, the title and bullets aren't, the title is not always gonna sound like it is for the customer to read. It's more for Amazon search algorithm, their A9 or A10 algorithm. And the focus here is on those first six to eight keywords. We wanna make sure that our first six to eight are the keywords that we're nailing and have our main search keywords in there because that's the most focus that it, or that's gonna get the most focus and attention from the Amazon system. The other things like bullet, description, brand, those might be a little bit of a boost, uh, but really it is this title area. And then as sales start accruing, um, we're gonna start ranking for some of these different keywords. Um, so, you know, again, we might try to find a few more keywords that would go in here. We don't need to put iPhone case or Samsung case because Amazon's automatically gonna put that on the end. Um, but I will normally just start kind of making a list of these keywords. So let's say I found some of the keywords I wanna use. Um, so let me also say gift in here, you know, whatever. I might make a note over here. Okay, use the keyword teacher. That's something I wanna incorporate. Now normally what I'll do is try to validate these a little bit more. So um, sea turtle, for example, we know we're probably gonna use that. So what I'll do is hop back to Merch Informer. And this is why I like to stay in Merch Informer since I'm doing this back and forth quite a bit. And I'll go to something like the keyword finder right here. And I'm just gonna go to the search. And I'll plug in my search term. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna pull back some information so we can actually see, is there search volume? Is it competitive to search for this, this term? If we're getting into advertising, this can also be helpful, the CPC stuff. Uh, Google search volume obviously is also useful. We just wanna get kind of a sense of, are people searching for these keywords that we're putting in? We don't wanna really waste any space, um, you know, in our title, especially with keywords that are not gonna get searched for. Um, so I'm obviously not gonna put sea turtle rings kids uh, because one, it's not relevant, and two, you can see the search volumes very low. But I'm just gonna kind of comb through this list and see if there's other keywords in here that I wanna look at. So we already have sea turtle, um, you know, mask I'm not gonna use, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not really seeing anything new in here, but sometimes I will find uh, new new things in here. Uh, pop socket, gold, et cetera, bracelet, gifts. So we see sea turtle gifts and we can see that it's getting 872 monthly searches. 
Google 1600 people a month and we can see the CPC and some competition information. So again, I see gifts is in here. You know, that's something I'm gonna wanna incorporate. Maybe your shirt is kind of like a costume. Uh, costume could be a good one, especially if you're doing like a Halloween thing. Okay, here's another one, baby sea turtle. So I missed that one, I didn't include that. So now I'm gonna go back and I might throw that one in here. Baby sea turtle, right? So now I'm hitting on turtle, sea, sea turtle, baby sea turtle. Um, I'm getting a bunch of these main keywords in here. Uh, you know, just off the top of my head, now I might start coming up with ideas. So I know, for example, tortoise uh, is kind of another name for a turtle, more commonly used interchangeably with turtle, etc. Now I'm just going to show you guys another thing you can do here. There's two other tools. One is Helium 10. Um, so we can also do something like searching sea turtle in here. Now the reason that I'm kind of mentioning this one second is Helium 10 is a paid platform and it is fairly expensive. So it might not really be worth your investment for Merch by Amazon necessarily. If you guys are doing a lot of work on Amazon, this might be a useful platform. But right here I can see, it gives me a little bit more in depth um, information about you know keyword information. And they have a ton of other tools in this platform that I like using. But I can see for example, Sea Turtle has 3,751. Um, and again, I can, I'm cross-checking this information because I know different platforms are going to report different information. So 3,751, which is actually pretty good search volume. I can see um, words that are frequently used. So turtles, beach, uh, et cetera, over here. And then I can see individual search terms. A lot of these, again, you kind of have to sift through them. They're not all gonna be relevant, but sea, shell, okay? Um, so we got shell in there already. Uh, ocean, we already got. So again, I'm just trying to find and pull out these other keywords that you know maybe I wasn't normally thinking about. Um, Hawaii, okay, that might be one we wanna throw in. So I might go back. Maybe I wanna put that one in a bullet point, whatever it is. Um, so that's pretty much kind of how my mind is working as I'm going about this process. I'm gonna show you guys one more tool and that is Sonar from Celix. This one is free to do what I'm doing right now, but you can pay for this. I do not pay for it, but you can. Um, so again, let's just put in something simple like sea turtle. And again, we get a little bit more information, not as much information as something like Helium 10, but a little bit more. So we can see search volume. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. You don't really get as much information, but we can see what terms are being used, find some additional terms here. I normally like to check this too, it's free. Um, so if you're not using Helium 10, great idea to use this. We can also see frequent words. So let's actually take out C and just do turtle. And turtle beach, okay, we already have a lot of that. Turtle food, sea turtle. All right, so I think we're pretty much covered. I'll look over here a little bit. Sea turtle, okay. Tiny turtle, so that might be something to throw in there. So again, we're just kind of getting these ideas. So after I have filled out all my information, so let's just pretend I'm gonna do some simple brand. Turtle branded gifts. So just something like this. Um, I, the final step is to use this trademark check. And um, this is why I like product or it's very easy. We can see, you know, the one, normally I'm looking at the ones highlighted in red. So I see sea turtles getting highlighted in red. So now I might go and look on the USPTO website and see what the status of that, uh, of that, of that trademark is. Um, and then I might take that out. I might adjust things, et cetera. The yellow ones, I, I'm not gonna give you guys, you know, legal advice on this because I'm not in a uh, copyright or infringement lawyer. I don't really have a lot of knowledge in that area, but normally I won't be too worried about these ones, the yellow ones. Um, they're normally more generic terms and they're just kind of cautionary, um, but this is pretty much it. So I'll just fill in this information. And once I'm done, I'll just go down here and click publish. You guys can see my publish button's grayed out. I'm maxed out right now on my slots, so I'm not able to publish this. But that is my process for doing my phone case upload. So again, very simple. We're getting the design formatted. We're uploading it. If we already have the keyword information, we can just copy that off of our existing listing. So I could have just copied uh, off of my turtle t-shirt here and just tweaked a few things. If not, we're adding in the keywords that we're you know wanting to focus on. And we're doing that by using Merch Informer, so their keyword finder, uh, or Helium 10. Uh, or Sonar or all these in combination and AMZ Suggestion Expander on Amazon. So I know that was a quick and simple video. Uh, I hope that helped you guys out, but let me know down below in the description. I know a lot of times I can forget to go over some of these simple things. So what else do you guys wanna see on my channel? What other topics would you like me to cover? And again, reminder, all the tools we talked about are linked in the description, but I hope you guys got some value out of that and we will see you in the next one. Cheers.